How much coffee is too much coffee? 4.45 in the afternoon. And uh, let's get the second pop going. Yeah. Yeah. This kid's definitely on crack right now. Yeah. 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 Well, it is Wednesday, and um, I don't know what happened yesterday, Tuesday. I guess I was being lazy and didn't film anything. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna run you through, and I didn't post a video on Monday either. So I'm gonna run you through Monday's sales. I'll see if I can walk through Tuesday's sales on the computer. We'll just kind of run through them real quick. And then uh, lastly, I will uh, we'll walk through the sales that I made today. And then I will just real quickly run you through my numbers uh, for the past week. Cause I like to uh, just keep tabs on all that, see how we're doing. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. See Monday morning and we have 18 things shipping out today for about $182. So let's uh, get started. I'll show you what's going out. Uh, first thing as usual, <laughs> eventually these will be gone and uh, you will miss them. You'll miss me showing you these acoustic guitar strings. But uh, today I have a grand total of 11, 11, 11 of these sets of acoustic guitar strings going out the door, 11 individual sales where 11 people each bought one set. I sell these for $5.29, so they are all going to be packaged up and shipped out. Next thing going out is a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. This is a ladies GNR t-shirt. It's a beautiful lavender purple. And this is a little bit of retail arbitrage that I did after Christmas last year. Uh, Forever 21 had a huge clearance sale and we picked up a bunch of um, t-shirts and things like that. Um, Cause I, I think it was like 80% off, something like that. I don't know, it was a big sale. So we grabbed a whole bunch of different stuff that I am, like I said, we bought them after Christmas, uh, maybe after New Year's but it was definitely December or January, and I am just now kind of getting to them listing them. So, kind of moving a little slow on these things. But anyway, I listed this a couple weeks ago, and this is going out the door today for $17. Next thing I'm shipping out today is a book. Like I've said before, I don't have very many listed. I do have tons of books in my house. Uh, they just don't sell real fast. You kind of got to be selective about which books you put up to sell. Um, this is an investment strategy book called The Warren Buffett Way, and uh, it's in great condition. I got this at a garage sale years and years and years ago. I picked it up to read myself, which I did, um, and I do use uh, Warren Buffett strategies so in my investing. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's in great shape. I, I think I picked up... You know, like I said, years and years and years ago, and it was probably handfuls of books for like a dollar, so I maybe have like 10 cents into this thing. And it is shipping out today for $6, free shipping, which will be media mail for like 280, I think is, yeah, 280 is the rate, so. So there you go. I have another t-shirt going out the door. This is uh, from artist Shepard Fairey's Obey clothing line. I don't know if you can see it real good, but it's got a cool Eagle logo on it. Um, I think it says like Obey World Tour or something like that. And because it's in a blue bag, you can tell it's been up for a while. I think I listed this like three months ago. 
but it had sat in my uh, waiting to be listed bin for years. This is something I picked up probably two or three years ago at a garage sale for probably like 50 cents or something like that. And uh, just found it in a bin. So like I said, listed it like three months ago. And uh, I think I had it originally listed for 15 or 16 bucks, dropped the price a little while ago to $11 free shipping and it sold. So this will be going out the door. Then I sold a nice little batch of music today. A nice eclectic mix of things. Um, I don't know why, but that makes me happy. I like to see what uh, people buy. And uh, um, one of my favorite alternative rock bands, uh, historically, going, I mean, dating myself probably, but uh, one of my all-time favorite alternative rock bands is the Lemonheads. So I had one buyer purchase both of these CDs, and when you buy more than one album at a time, more than one CD, more than one record, pretty much I do it with all of my listings if you buy more than one thing i give you a shipping discount so for the first cd he pays three dollars shipping the next one he only pays one dollar so all together for both cds uh he paid eleven dollars including shipping so first record shipping out today is from the man eddie money and his album no control and after he passed, his records uh, have kind of increased in value a little bit. And this album is going out the door for $10. And the next three records shipping out today are all brand new sealed. Um, first one going out is from the alt folk band Neutral Milk Hotel. Uh, <clears throat> this is a 180 gram uh, reissue. I'm not sure what year this was reissued, but this album's been reissued a million times because um, it sells so well. Um, very interesting band. If you're not familiar with them, take a listen. See what you think. They are very uh, divisive in that way. I think you listen to them, you either really like them or you can't stand it. <laughs> and I happen to really like it. It's very different. It's very unique. Um, but, uh, really cool. I, I liked it. I discovered them. I was way late to the party on Neutral Milk Hotel. I didn't discover them till like 09, 2009, 2010, something like that. Um, but anyway, great album. And this is going out the door for $20.25. Next album going out is a sealed original press from metal band Fate's Warning and their album No Exit. And this is some old, this is just some sealed old stock that I had. Um, and all of these albums, I bought them from um, like a promotion guy back when I had the record store. And he had a whole bunch of sealed uh, original vinyl in his collection. But they all had little cutouts or hole punches or whatever. So you can see this one has a real thin saw cut on it. Uh, but it is original press. Seems to be in great condition for a 30 plus year old record. And this is going out the door for $24. And then the last album going out, um, that is my last copy of Fate's Warning, by the way. So that is gone. So good luck trying to find that one, <laughs> especially in original press. Uh, I don't even know if that's ever been reissued. I'm not sure, not on vinyl, I don't think. But um, any last thing going out is the double LP reissue of Motley Crue's Greatest Hits, and that is going out the door for $23. So let's see if I can figure out a way to show you uh, what I sold on Tuesday. Let's see if we can figure it out. Tuesday, uh, you can see right there, um, the sales for the day were $75.88, but uh, when I make these videos, um, I, uh, go by shipping day. So let's see, um, what I actually shipped out on that day. That's the number I sold in that 24 hour period, but let's see what I shipped out. All right. So this is, uh, my spreadsheet, uh, that I work from where I keep track of everything I ship for the day. And this is the 14th, which is yesterday, Tuesday. 
and I sold a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items. Um, the these two down here were actually ordered by the same person. He bought two Faster Pussycat albums. Um, my grand total for the day is 169.23. That's uh, my gross sales. So all together, so I had one person buy two Faster Pussycat albums. I sold a Barbara Carroll Blue Note LP. I sold a Misfits t-shirt. I sold a pair of Brahma work boots that were gifted to me and that I never wore. <laughs> so I just sold them as pre-owned, but they were basically unused. Uh, I sold one package of a hundred of my uh, LP sleeves, uh, the outer record sleeves. Then I had somebody buy two packages of them. And uh, those I sell for $17.95 a piece. If you buy more than one, I give you a discount. So uh, you can see where the person bought two. He got those for $34.10, including shipping, but they only cost me $7.23 to ship out. So that's a great deal. We like when they do that. Then I had, what, one, two, three, four people buy one package of acoustic guitar strings. Then I had somebody buy two sets of acoustic guitar strings. So again, my grand total, my gross sales for yesterday were $169.23, which is not too shabby for me, as I'm trying to maintain an average of $100 a day um, to, um, you know, as my first stepping stone goal to get to where I need to get to. So, so there you go. <laughs> Wednesday morning and we have a lot of stuff that sold last night and this morning so that's what this video will be I will walk you through all the sales I made and everything that I am shipping out today including one large sale I had one uh, eBay buyer purchase I think 18 records in one purchase so I'll be walking you through all those in addition to that I, uh, about a week ago, I listed a super rare original press of a Grateful Dead Europe 1972 triple live LP. So that sold. So I will be uh, going through all that stuff and more in this video. So let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm shipping out today is I had two different buyers, each buy one set each of my Dean Markley acoustic guitar strings. I sell these for $5.29 a piece. And like I said, I had two buyers each buy one set, so I will be shipping those out. Had two different buyers each buy one uh, football card, which I don't have a lot of. This is, I believe this is the entire stack of football cards that I currently have listed. Uh, so let's see if we can find these real quick. Probably not. It'll be the, uh, whatever the last one is in my stack, that's, that's where they'll be. Yeah. Oh, there's one. So the 2019 Drew Locke draft card. Uh, this is, uh, Leaf is the manufacturer of that card. And that one sold for $2. And I sold also, this is also a 2019 football card. This is from Don Russ. And it is uh, their Legends of the Fall series. This is Joe Montana. And this is this one will be interesting. Uh, I haven't sold trading cards in a long time. If you watch my channel at all, I've, I've mentioned that, how I just started listing my collection of trading cards, um, which I I don't know the exact number of cards I have. Somewhere, in the, somewhere between 10 and 20,000 cards, baseball, football. Not very many football though, and I've got some hockey, I've got some basketball, but the majority of them are baseball cards, and I uh, just kind of pulled my collection out of my closet um, as something, a little change of pace um, from records and, and other things. Uh, it was just kind of fun to start going through those things and, and listing those. Um, so, I don't have a ton listed, and I definitely don't have a ton of football cards listed, uh, maybe 20, something like that. 
But this one just sold and I've never shipped internationally, but this is a buyer from Germany that bought this. Uh, the card sold for I think $2.50 and then he paid $15 in shipping uh, to go to Germany. So I will be packaging this up very carefully. Um, it's a trading card, so it's not gonna weigh much. Uh, from what I saw online, it's gonna cost me about $13 to ship it and together with the card and his shipping he paid, he paid 17 something. So I'm gonna gross profit before fees and everything, gross profit around four, four to five dollars on this card, um, something like that. Uh, hopefully that'll go smoothly. I've never shipped a trading card internationally before, but I will package the crap out of it. Sale was pretty crazy, it was pretty surprising. Um, this is, um, uh, these are some Polaroid photos that were inserted in a t Taylor Swift uh, CD release. I forget what for what album. I forget from which album this was, but it's a uh, it's a set that I guess has become kind of collectible. These um, sets of Polaroids. I don't think they're real. I think they're just photos that they designed to look like Polaroids. I don't think they're real Polaroids. I could be wrong. I mean, they look like real Polaroids, but I'd be very surprised if they were actually real Polaroids. But anyway, so this set came in a CD packaged in the, I think a deluxe version of her CD, whatever CD it was. Um, and I'm sure my kids had that CD. And when I was going through a box of stuff, I just found this without the CD and looked them up online, was just curious, you know, if these were worth any money. And yeah, they're selling, you know, for like between 18 and $25 for each pack of Polaroids. Um, so I just sold these and yeah, sold these for $19.25 plus shipping. Very surprising, no CD, just the Polaroids. All right, first record going out today is a seven inch single from the Cars and their song, Let's Go and it is backed with That's It. And I actually just listed this like a week ago and it already sold for 550. Uh, next album going out is actually new sealed reissue from The Descendants. Uh, how great are The Descendants? Love The Descendants. Uh, and their album, I Don't Wanna Grow Up. Uh, this is an SST Records reissue. I'm not sure the date, um, but it's not an original, it's new sealed. And I just placed the wholesale order from them eight months ago, something like that. So I've been slowly selling through uh, my Descendants records that I ordered. This is the last copy I have of this one. And uh, so yeah, I need to place another order with them and get, get restocked with my uh, Descendants records. But uh, anyway, this one is going out the door for $22.50. Okay, now for the uh, biggest individual sale uh, of quite a while. Uh, at, least, uh, at least in the past month, this is my biggest sale uh, for an individual record for at least the past month. Um, and this is an original press of uh, Grateful Dead's Europe 72 triple live LP. Uh, comes with the booklet, all of it's in great shape. The record played, the record's played excellent. Um, and this is going out the door for $69. Then the last order going out is a big order of records. And uh, it's kind of ironic because the last video I just posted, somebody was asking me how you make money selling cheap records. And this is exactly how you make money selling cheap records is when people purchase 18 at a time. It's a, that's a large order for me. Um, but usually when people make a multiple item purchase, it's like four or five or six records at the same time, which is great. I mean, because, uh, the combined shipping and everything, um, I make a lot more money, um, being able to ship them all together. So a purchase like 18 records in one order, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to work out great. His total purchase.
His total purchase on the records is $90.75. He's paying an additional uh, shipping charge of $21. Um, and these will ship media mail. If he lived somewhere closer, unfortunately he lives in Florida, which is about as far away from me as you could get. But if he lived somewhere closer, I would probably just ship those priority and eat any price difference. But priority mail, 18 records, priority mail to Florida. Nope, <laughs> no way. Um, so they will go media and um, uh, the shipping will be what ten dollars to me something like that um and that is not gouging um because he still gets a shipping discount he pays four dollars for the first record then i only charge him one dollar shipping for every additional record so he's still getting a great deal he's getting 18 records for what did i say a hundred and eleven dollars and seventy five cents he's getting 18 records so um, and one of them is brand new. So let's uh, let's roll through those alphabetically right now. So the first one he picked up, and I don't know, I, I don't know the breakdown uh, that what he paid for every album, um, but every album he bought is somewhere in that three to eight dollar range for the most part. Um, if I come across something that I charged more for, I'll call that out. But most of these records are in the three to seven or eight dollar range. Um, first one is Bad Company's Desolation Angels. Next one he bought is a copy of Berlin's Pleasure Victim. Then he bought a copy of Billy Squire's Emotions in Motion. Copy of The Eagles, The Long Run. And by the way, uh, the albums he picked are all <laughs> really really good I mean nothing legendary nothing super expensive or high value just nice solid kind of classic rock uh, albums um, next one he bought is uh, Genesis self-titled uh, Genesis Duke George Thurgood and the destroyers move it on over and this album, I thought this would sell right away. Uh, it plays great, and I didn't price it real high. I think this one I priced at like $6.50 plus shipping, something like that. I thought it would sell right away. Um, but this took like two or three months to sell. Um, but this guy grabbed it. Uh, same thing with this one. Uh, the Hooters, um, maybe not the most popular band, not somebody that's on the tip of your tongue here in the year 2020. But uh, a great album that actually kind of held up, in my opinion, when I tested it. Um, this one also has been up for like two or three months. Um, I might have um, priced this one a little more strong because it was harder to find. Maybe this was like in the 8 or $9 range, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, I didn't go crazy on the price or anything like that. So I was kind of surprised that one didn't sell faster. Um, this one sold immediately. I just listed this album either yesterday or the day before. An original pressing of Squeeze Argy Bargy, and I think this was in the six or seven dollar range. Um, in one of my more recent videos, I showed you a handful of Sticks albums that I came across. Uh, this was one of them, so this has not even been up for a week, maybe four, four days, five days, something like that. It's a copy of Sticks Equinox. And then this one has been up. This was not part of the group that I found. Uh, this is Sticks Cornerstone, and this one's been up for a while, probably six or seven months. I don't know if this star that the original owner put on the front <laughs> scared people off, but it played pretty well, um, and I didn't price it real high. I think this is like in the $4 range, $5 range, something like that. Uh, this has only been up for maybe a week or so. Uh, Lena Lovich, Stateless. I think this also, this album made an appearance in a video not that long ago as I was listing it. As did this one. This is a copy of Motels All for One. Um, and this is another one probably in that four or five dollar range, something like that. Uh, the Motors, self-titled album. It's from the 70s actually played really well. I kind of enjoyed that one. I I remember when I pulled this one off the shelf to test and it just the cover and everything it just you don't know even what to expect but uh, kind of cool uh, 
garage rock kind of stuff. Uh, the motor's really good. Uh, this is another one that I just listed like a day or two ago. Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. I think this was in the $6 range for pricing. This is another one. This has been up for a while. Robert Plant's Shaken and Stirred. I know I didn't have it really expensive, four or five dollars probably, maybe six dollars, but somewhere in that range. And this has been up on my site for maybe a year and uh, finally sold today. Super Tramps, even in the quietest moment, Super Tramp. I, when I listed this, I, I keep track of when I test records, I keep a, a spreadsheet so I don't forget um, how it played. And so I put all my notes and everything in that spreadsheet. And when I went to enter in the notes for this album, I saw that I had sold a version of this album like 18 times. So, <laughs> so over the course of my personal collection and buying collections from people when I had my record store, um, I have uh, at least, I had at least 18 to 20 copies of this album. Just shows you how popular it was. I mean, where so many different people had this album in their collection and I've sold uh, 18 copies of this probably over the past three or four years and it sells all the time uh, and sells real fast. Like I said, I think I listed this a day or two ago and uh, sold right away as part of this group. And the last album this gentleman bought is a, a new sealed copy of Tom Waits's The Heart of Saturday Night. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, uh, Tom Waits album. Don't fight with me over that. Uh, I know Tom Waits is near and dear to everybody's hearts. I love Tom Waits. I can't, I shouldn't even say, I can't even pick a favorite album of Tom Waits, but I do love this album. <laughs> I Back in the day in my late teens, early 20s, I owned this on cassette and uh, played this all the time. And uh, so that's probably why this album means a lot to me and why I love it so much is because I just played it a lot and uh, just really got inside me, I guess. Know what I'm saying? So anyway, Tom Waits, love Tom Waits, love this album. Um, and all the rest of the records this uh, person bought from Florida were used. This one is brand new and sealed. Um, the, pr the I had this one priced at like $24 or $25. All right, so now real quick, I know this is a long video because I'm trying to, I'm playing catch up for Monday, Tuesday, and today, Wednesday. So let's just real quick um, take a look at my numbers and where they're sitting right now. Just real quick. Okay, so we are in my uh, seller dashboard right now. Um, you can see that's the name of my store. That is my feedback amount. Um, let's real quick, like we like to do, let's just check on our feedback. Uh, over the past few weeks, I don't think I've, we've looked in my feedback, uh, but I got another neutral, which I'm not very happy about. It was somebody that ordered some guitar strings from me and he said they broke. <laughs> he said one of the strings broke. Uh, but I mean, too bad for him. I mean, if he would have just sent me a message, I would have sent him a replacement set of strings. No problem. But rather than ask for a return or a replacement, he just left me neutral feedback. So, uh, kind of silly. I mean, he could have got a free set of strings from, don't spread that around. That's just between you and me. <laughs> okay. So don't, don't tell everybody. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, <laughs> So these are my, uh, other than that one neutral, all my feedback has been positive. 129 feedback for the month, uh, which like I've said, uh, you never get 100% feedback. I, I've come to realize through the, you know, 10 years plus that I've been selling on eBay, probably 17 years, something like that. Uh, my feedback percentage is probably like 30 to 50%. Like if I sell 300 things, I might get, you know, 129 feedback, something like that, 150 feedback, whatever. So let's just take a look here. Uh, so somebody that bought my Eddie Money album, he actually got that pretty fast. So he's really happy. Uh, somebody bought a baseball card, really, very happy. Super fast shipping. Uh, this one was pretty funny. The guy left me feedback saying he got the socks 
uh, but he bought a CD. Uh, but then right, right after he left the feedback, he sent me a message saying, hey, I think I left you the wrong feedback, but it doesn't matter to me as long as it's positive, I guess. <laughs> So pretty funny, but nice of him to at least reach out and apologize, but whatever. So um, these, there was a uh, person here uh, that ordered three things from me in the same transaction. They ordered a funny refrigerator magnet, a football card, and some drumsticks. Uh, and uh, so they seem pretty happy. Uh, so yeah, just real quick, wanted to flip through my feedback <clears throat> and then let's just real quick take a look at the numbers of what we're doing so uh if you've been following my channel i try and do these numbers every monday obviously i slipped up and today's wednesday but for the past 31 days i have sold four thousand seventy seven dollars and seventy nine cents in gross sales uh you can see my uh my sales columns here have grown like the first time we went through my numbers i think i maybe had one or two columns uh right there that went over a hundred dollar days and now i'm hitting real close to 200 dollars days pretty consistently and my low days are really good for me this is really good for me i know there's other resellers that would cringe at numbers like these but um this makes me real happy um if you're new to the channel, I just have started to really put in full-time work on my eBay store, trying to grow it from part-time income into more of a full-time income. Um, so I started this channel like in mid-January, mid to late January. And so from late January to April 15th, um, I've really seen a lot of growth. And so for everybody else out there that you know is a reseller watching my channel, I mean, it really speaks to what you can do um, when you really start listing um, items. Where I've I've grown um, the number of listings. Um, when I first started this channel in January, I think I had 530 listings. Uh, I'm up to 932, which is low. That's not where I want to be. I want to be at 1,000 to 1,200. Um, but uh, you can see I've doubled my listings and my sales have just about doubled or tripled. I think I just posted a video last week where my sales went up 300% in the past quarter. And so I'm hoping to grow it even above that. So, so yeah, just real quick, just wanted to show these numbers, just kind of keep myself honest with you guys to show you what I'm doing. Um, uh, I had a great day today with... Um, uh, some big record purchases from buyers out there. Uh, I'm trying to average as my first milestone $100 a day. You can see I'm way above that. The last seven days I've sold $1,062. Um, and the last 90 days I'm up to almost $8,000 in sales. So which for me is really good. Um, so there you go. I just really wanted to real quick just touch on these numbers, keep myself honest with you guys um, so you can see what's going on. And All right, that's all I've got for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. If uh, you just found this channel, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And um, we will be back with more eBay sales soon. Thanks a lot. See you later.